This story comes to us from CareNet of Albuquerque. Their stork bus is parked outside of the busiest late-term abortion clinic in America. This pregnancy center partners with sidewalk advocates who stand outside of the abortion clinic without any ugly or judgmental signs, but with little gift bags filled with supplies that any woman could use. Recently, the sidewalk advocates waved at a young woman whose Uber driver just dropped her off. As the car drove away, she rushed into the abortion clinic with her eyes on the ground and a mixture of determination and trepidation in her step. About 45 minutes passed and the woman came out of the center looking very confused and a little angry. She spotted the sidewalk advocates and told them her story. She had taken the bus from Texas to get an abortion done here. When the clinic worker performed the ultrasound to determine which abortion to provide, she announced that the baby was 28 weeks. 28 weeks! She could actually feel the baby moving during the ultrasound. Now the abortion procedure for a 28-week-old baby would be significantly more invasive and expensive. This news caught her off guard and she started feeling really uncomfortable. She asked the nurse if she could see the image of her baby on the ultrasound machine, but the nurse actually refused. She pushed back and demanded her right to see what was on that screen. So the nurse finally gave in and printed out a photo, but the photo revealed a blurry blob of white and gray. It was a strange image and it looked like nothing. From there, the clinic staff led her to the abortion procedure room and began to prep her for her abortion. She sat staring at that photo. Something just wasn't right. That's when she got her things and she walked out and she found those sidewalk advocates. The advocates listened to her whole story and then pointed out the bus that was right across the street and invited her to the bus where she could have another ultrasound and actually see her baby. On board the bus, she was able to hear the heartbeat for the first time. It brought tears to her eyes to see the little features of that face that were so perfect. The nurse on board the bus looked at the image that had been taken by the abortion clinic staff and realized that it was actually a zoomed in image of the child's femur. They refused to show the beautiful little baby because they knew how powerful that image would be. Thankfully, the sidewalk advocates and the pregnancy center were there to give her the whole picture. The staff pooled their resources together to buy her a bus ticket back home. They even reached out to a local pregnancy center that was in her hometown to connect her with as soon as she got back. In a world that is full of choice and freedom, why would we be unhappy with a woman's choice to embrace her child rather than terminate a pregnancy? Why would eliminating fear, providing for long and short term needs, and educating a woman on all of her options be perceived as anti-choice? The executive director of CareNet of Albuquerque said this, we are pro-choice. We are pro-informed choice. We want women to understand all of their options so that she knows exactly what she's getting into when she makes a decision about her abortion, adoption, or parenting. Pro-life is pro-educated choice, so women feel fully equipped for their future.